Oh, exciting. Uh, entertainment and dinner. You're doing it better than I do. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> we're at House of Prime Rib and we're making prime rib. <laughs> no kidding. We've done it. <laughs> This is the last of the delivery and we checking before we go into the aging room, we check if it's all sealed. Uh, this is Chef Jose, he's with me many years. Let's do it, Jose. Let's move it into the aging room. So these are going to go into the dry ager, right? right? They've been essentially sort of wet aging, developing flavor. And goes into the dry room. Awesome, let's okay. do it. That's awesome. Ooh, look at this light, it's like a club in here. So the infrared lights stop the bacteria from yes. growing. How so? Does it inhibit? When we work in there, we have to turn it off. Yes. Because it burns your eyes. Wow, incredible. What a production. So now we're grabbing the ribs for the last round. Yes. Yes, let's do it. You think there's about, there's more than 300 in here? Oh, it's 300. Easy, 350? These are hanging out here. A week. These are a week? Yeah. Okay. Vamanos. So we have our prime ribs for service tonight, right? These have been aged. They're about ready to go in the rock salt. Ready to go. Amazing. Well, we put the rock salt because it's uh, the enzyme changes if you just have it in the regular oven because it's also a tenderizer. When you put it in there and we submerge everything, by doing so, we keep all the juices inside. But I cannot tell you all the secrets. I, am, I, I, I don't want to know them. I have seen you uh, knowing the restaurant business. Sorry, I'm a little bit scared. No, <laughs> no, I won't take it. I won't take it. So, how much prime rib do you go through on average a night? Well, we go during the week at 368. We're serving up to 400 dinners and uh, on the holidays. During the week, like last night, we served 600 dinners. Oh my gosh, you are doing some numbers, Joe. You used rock salt the entire time since 1949. Wow. It wasn't even thought of or conceived yet. <laughs> so are we dumping just regular rock salt? It it's looks regular rock salt. Regular rock salt. And it's already moist. It conducts the heat and seals it. Yes. <laughs> just all over? Yeah. Yep. You need more salt. You don't want to see any, any beef. So it yeah. should be completely, so completely submerged. submerged. So this method of cooking this, did you develop this? We I took it already over when they had it already. You want to have the beef nice and moist. So okay. what's the next step? Okay, now it comes into the oven. Okay. All right, boss? Yes. Have the guys help you? I can lift it. I'm very strong. Last Sunday, I lift 265 pounds by myself. Put me to work, Joe. <laughs> so we put the prime in. How long are they in at this temperature? That's a little bit of a secret. That's a hot. Okay. Uh, around two and a half hours. Okay. <laughs> High temp, low temp? Medium temp. Okay. <laughs> Medium-ish. Here we are, let's have a drink. We got some time to spare, huh? Yes. Excellent, let's do it. Back to work. <laughs> the prime rooms are ready to come out. Uh, prime let's do it. it. Smells amazing. It looks like a big bed of salt. So we set a 20 minute timer. See them, it's all locked in. Yeah. There's no steam coming out. We let it sit now. Yep. And then we break the salt. Okay and we take it out. So prime ribs have come out of the oven. They're in their little salt blankets right. and we rest them for precisely how long? I need to know. Should that take a couple hours? Okay. Because then like, you know, then the juices go back into the beef. Kind of redistribute. And, and also it keeps on cooking. Mm. Makes sense. Because you know, like the salt right in here, it keeps on cooking. Right, it's still pretty warm. So kind of high temp followed by low temp low temperature cooking. The best beef is, you know, lower the temperature. 100%. Getting ready for service, right? What's the next step, chef? We're gonna crack the beef. Well, let's crack some beefs. So you do them all the same, kind of on either side first. And then we remove this one from here right now. Wow, there's still steam coming off of them. They kind of slowly cook, right? I mean, these pans, they look pretty special. And they have to be special because they're able to hold the beef and the rock salt and they have fit in the oven. Is this a, it's a custom pan or? Yes, a custom pan. Wow. I'm excited to get into the unveiling. Uh, no, you don't because you're going from the side. 
Yeah, I wouldn't come in here and try to cut this beef in no, half, right? No. It's kind of breaking up the sides of it. It's an unveiling. So that's done, right? I do the heavy lifting. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. <laughs> It's such an interesting concept. Like not a not a lot actually happens in the moment, right? It's a little bit opposite of a different style restaurant where the order comes in and you're cooking in the moment. Everything is, is prep work. Which is, I imagine, why you can do so much volume. You said you have 600 people to serve tonight, right? But from that moment, you also continue supplying. Thanks for having me. You <laughs> said, said, I would like to hire you, but I can't afford you. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay me in food. <laughs> Right now, everything's in the warmer. Francisco. Oh, our man, the chef. And we take it out right now and trim it. From there, it goes in the car. Nice to meet you, Chef Francisco. You know, sometimes he's kind of scary to car because you have to be careful with the fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you still have all your fingers? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> so what are we doing here? Just taking off the fat, essentially? Print the fat, yeah. You've done how many, do you think, in your lifetime? I was like, <laughs> at least, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're cutting this with such precision. You're on an operating table. You see how how quick he can do it. So, what are you looking for here? Silver skin? Yeah. Just exposing that kind of rosé. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Whatever, really, the salt didn't touch. Perfect. It's perfectly rested throughout the entire prime rib. So he stays straight up. Yes. So he has to cut right there. Iconic. It's my first time using a knife, so hopefully it is. It's true. Do it properly, yeah, exactly. We'll see. The way she explained it to me, how it's cooked, trust me, she knows what she's doing. What do you think, Chef Francisco? Just yeah. the fat, right? Yes. Very good. That's not bad training curve. Two days, put it on the line, folks. We're talking about 50 of them a night, and uh, in the holidays, about 90. I mean, it's a really amazing idea for the concept because you take one thing, right, and you focus all the energy and the intention, and you do it well, and then you build around it. Like I always said, you know, we do one thing, but we do it very well. Yes. Right now it's standing still. Exciting. Entertainment and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a part of it. I love it. Let's do it. Is this the cart sort of ready to go out to the table? It's, it's ready to go to the table. Okay, cool. We need more ribs in there to be able to carve it because right now, for example, if you carve it, it would be too wobbly. Oh, yeah. So do you really need some other one out there. Also, when you cut, uh, you don't want to go just back and forth. Yes. Because you rip the beef. It has to be sliced. So when you see that the knife has to be sharp. Prime rib. We'll be back. We're going to go get more of your little friends. So yeah. we're going to stock this with prime rib and then slice, right? We're going to get two more ribs in there. Two more. Two more. And then we do it. Let's do it. So we're going to start loading the cars. Okay. Yes, Jose. Let's do it. So gravy goes in the back. Yes. So only thing missing really is the beef, right? Yeah, we have to go get it. We have to get the beef. <laughs> We're building around the prime rib. It's a classic dinner establishment. And it's not only just the dining experience, but I imagine there's a lot of tableside entertainment as well. It's a show. So, cart is complete. Gentlemen have helped set this up. And now the next stage is really to take this table side, correct? Right, to the table side. And okay. then the show goes on. Now let's do it. Get your prime rib here. Prime rib, you get a prime rib. 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 Voila. It's welcome. Welcome to House of Prime Rib. Thank you for coming to my restaurant. And for your prime rib this evening. I have a medium rare. Medium rare, excellent. Whatever you recommend. Yes, sir. We have our famous carver here, the best in the game, Mr. Jose. We'll have a medium rare and a, and a medium with all the sides. So here we have our house cut with mashed potatoes and cream spinach. Beautiful, thank you. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh my goodness, incredible. Is 600 guests like a, an average night for you? Weekend, yes. Mm. Weekends are busy. 600's not busy. <laughs> uh, we are very spoiled. 600 guests tonight and, and that amount of volume, but the attention to detail and the flavor, it, it, it's not sacrificed, right? Everything is still with integrity and, and, and value for the guests. That is, it's phenomenal. When you want to come in, you want to be entertained. I would say it's almost like a movie. The difference in here, we celebrate and people come on over and over and over again. And so we, that's the secret to our place. It's not us, it's the customer who make us. It's a, it's a beautiful relationship, right? You're offering a moment in time for respite and nourishment. It's really beautiful. 
Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Is anybody willing to help us eat? <laughs> Please.